love food, colored green, bell peppers, and long string beans, pickles, celery, cucumbers too. All these foods are good for you. Welcome to Storytime Cooks, where we learn about food through books. Today we're going to be reading Too Much Noise by Mike Bernstein, and this is um, published by HarperCollins. This is a fun book, and as you might can imagine, we're going to be reading about lots of different noises. It is all quiet at the Bear Family Treehouse. Mama and Papa are having a quiet cup of tea. They're just enjoying the peace and quiet. It is so quiet, said Papa. Yes, said Mama, so nice and quiet. When all of a sudden, Mama, Papa, yelled the cubs. Uh-oh, said Papa, the cubs are awake. Mama and Papa gulped their tea. Mama, Papa, yelled the cubs, can we have breakfast? And here they come, one, two, three bear cubs. Mama and Papa helped the cubs get breakfast. Mama yells, sister, brother is bumping me. Papa yells, brother, sister is shoving me. Mama, Papa yells, honey, just to join in. She didn't want to be left out. Breakfast is over. The cubs go into the family room. They turn on the TV. Blah, blah, blah goes the TV. Blah, 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 blah. And Mama and Papa are looking like, oh, our peace and quiet is gone. Sister decides to put on some music. Boom, boom, boom goes the music. Boom, boom. Brother starts playing a video game. Beep, 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 beep goes the video game. Beep, beep. Now Mama and Papa are actually holding their ears. It's so noisy in there. Sister wants to make a phone call. Hello, she yells over the other noise. Hello, hello, hello. Honey loves to play with her bear mo doll. She pushes a button on the doll's back. He, 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 the doll. He, 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 he. So there is all this noise. Brother thinks it's time to practice his drums. Pow, 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 go the drums. Pow, pow. Quiet, yells Papa. Quiet, yells Mama. Quiet, 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 yell Mama and Papa. My goodness, says Sister. Must you make so much noise? But, said Papa. I am surprised at you, said Brother. But, said Mama. Hmm, said Honey. So the cubs were making all the noise, but they thought it was funny when Mama and Papa started making noise. We just wanted a little quiet, said Papa. Yes, said Mama, just a little peace and quiet. Well, you don't have to yell, said Sister. Yes, said Brother, you could ask quietly. Yes, said Honey. Mama and Papa quietly ask for a little quiet, and the cubs agree. Things are too noisy around here, said Brother. It would be nice to have a little quiet for a change, said Sister. Nice, said Honey. So the whole family spends some quiet time together. Honey plays quietly, Brother and Sister read quietly, Mama sews quietly, and Papa takes a nap. And you see Papa's sleeping away. He's got his mouth open. Have any of you ever heard a noise come from someone who's sleeping? I bet Papa is going to be the one who's not so quiet. And I was right. The only noise is Papa, and he is snoring. Ah, said the whole family, it is still pretty quiet. And you see Papa snoring away. Well, today we're going to make a breakfast treat. We're going to talk about some different breakfast foods. 
we're actually going to use oatmeal. And there's lots of different ways we can enjoy oatmeal. We can have oatmeal in cereal. This would not be quiet if we ate it. It would be crunchy, just like this oatmeal granola bar would be nice and crunchy too. But when we make regular oatmeal, it's fairly quiet. When we chew it, it's soft, so it doesn't make much noise. So we're going to make our oatmeal really yummy. We've made a bowl of oatmeal, and we're going to slice some banana. And we're going to put that on top of our oatmeal. And then to make it even more delicious, we're going to put a spoonful of peanut butter in our oatmeal. And we're going to stir that all up together. And if you need even a little bit of an extra treat, sprinkle a few chocolate chips on it, just a few. And that makes a really yummy, quiet, but quick and easy, nutritious breakfast. Thank you for joining us for this segment of Storytime Cooks. We hope you'll come back and join us again next week as we continue to learn about food through books. Pickles, celery, cucumbers too All these